Hi, I'm Tiffany Kaiser. I'm one of the transplant pharmacists on the UC Health transplant team. In this video, we're going to review some general information about transplant medications. Did you know receiving a transplanted organ means a lifelong commitment to medications without interruption? Taking these medications exactly as prescribed is necessary for success following transplant. Transplant recipients receive many medications following the transplant procedure. Typically, these are new medications that you've never taken before and will replace the medications you were taking before the transplant. Having to take so many new medications after transplant can be overwhelming, so it's important to learn some general information about these medications to ensure that you take them properly. Post-transplant medications can be grouped into three categories, immunosuppressants, anti-infectants, and other. First, let's talk about the immunosuppressant medications. In order to understand what these medications do, we need to talk about the immune system. So how does your immune system work exactly? The immune system is a network of cells, tissues, and organs that work together to prevent the body against foreign invaders or objects. It is designed to protect your body by attacking and destroying any foreign objects that it finds in your body. The foreign objects can be bacteria or viruses, or in the case of a transplant, the foreign object is your transplanted organ. When your body's immune system sees a transplanted organ as foreign, it attacks it and attempts to destroy it. This process is called rejection, and we talk about it in some of our other videos. Transplant recipients take immunosuppressive medications in order to prevent rejection from happening. And because of this, immunosuppressant medications are also called anti-rejection medications. You will take at least one of them for the rest of your life. Unfortunately, suppressing the immune system means it can't work as hard to fight against other foreign invaders such as bacteria and viruses, putting the transplant recipient at higher risk of getting infections. It is important to note that these medications also make it more difficult for the body to protect itself from some types of cancer, which are more common in transplant patients, although the health benefits to transplantation greatly outweigh these risks. After the transplant, it is important that you take your medications as prescribed follow up with your doctors, and avoid other things that are known to cause cancer, such as cigarette smoke and sun exposure. Next, let's talk about anti-infective medication, but first let's test your knowledge. Do you know what an anti-infective medication is? If you said it's a medication to prevent infection while you're taking anti-rejection medications, then you are correct. Unlike anti-rejection medications, most patients do not have to take anti-infective medications for the rest of their life. Anti-infective medications are only required during the early period after transplant, when the risk of rejection is highest and you are taking higher amounts of immunosuppressant medications. Providing you with the right combination and doses of medications is a balancing act. Transplant recipients need to take the right amount of medications to prevent rejection, but at the same time, they also need to take the right amount to minimize their risk of infection. In addition to the balance between rejection and infection, your transplant team is also working to balance the likelihood of side effects from these medications. The third group of medication refers to the other medications you may have to take after transplant. The number of additional medications that is necessary will vary for each transplant recipient based on their individual situation in terms of the transplant procedure itself and how your recovery is progressing and other health conditions you may have, such as high blood pressure, thyroid disorder, arthritis, or heart disease. Many of these medications are temporary and only used for a short time, while others may be taken for the rest of your life. Now that we've reviewed the three groups of medications that transplant recipients receive following transplant, let's go over some tips to help you manage these medications. How many medications do you think transplant patients are usually prescribed in the early weeks after transplant? Is it A, two to three medications, B, four to five medications, C, six to eight medications, or D, 15 to 20 medications? If you answer D, you are correct. 15 to 20 medications is commonly prescribed post-transplant. Although this may seem like a lot of medications and be overwhelming, we're here to help. Your transplant pharmacist will provide you with several tools which will help you understand and manage all of these new medications. We will provide you and your caregivers with education about your medications. Please know that this education will be ongoing. It will begin pre-transplant and continue after transplant while you are in the hospital and as you follow up in the outpatient clinic. Whenever you have a question or concern about one of your medications, you can review the written materials provided, you can contact the transplant team through your transplant coordinator, and you can also watch any of these educational videos. 
Creating a routine for taking your medications is an important step to ensure you are taking them correctly and consistently. Taking them correctly and consistently, as your transplant team prescribes, is necessary to minimize the risk of infection, rejection, and unwanted side effects. A medication instruction card will be provided to help you keep track of your medications. This card is provided to all transplant recipients to help organize and manage their medications. Transplant recipients will use this card to develop a schedule that fits well within daily routines. We will work together to develop a schedule that is most convenient for you. A comfortable schedule that works best with your lifestyle will improve your success for taking all your medications at the right time every day. The details about this card and how to use it are reviewed in another video. All transplant recipients will use a pill organizer. The medication card and pill organizer go hand in hand to provide a system that allows you to take your medications correctly and consistently. After you are transplanted, prior to being discharged from the hospital, a transplant pharmacist or other team members will work with you and your caregivers to fill out your medication card and pack your medications into a weekly pill box. We do this by ordering your prescriptions from your pharmacy several days before you are scheduled to go home and by making arrangements for those medications to be brought into the hospital by your family or caregivers on the day of discharge. If you are discharged to a rehab center or other facility rather than to your home, this process will take place in our outpatient clinic when you have finished your stay in that facility prior to going home. Thank you for spending some time with us to discuss some general information about your transplant medications. Always remember to take your immunosuppressants, your anti-infectives, and your other medications correctly and consistently to ensure successful outcomes following transplant. We, your transplant pharmacists, are here to help you with your medications, so please always contact us whenever you have any questions. Thank you.